Dueling Dinosaurs. It's a brand new exhibit that's been years in the making at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences right here in downtown Raleigh. Yeah, the exhibit has its grand opening coming up on Saturday, but take a look. Today we got a special preview. This is one of the most daring public science projects ever imagined. We have the best preserved and most complete Tyrannosaur and Triceratops in the world. Today we are having the ribbon cutting for our brand new Dueling Dinosaurs experience. The Dueling Dinosaurs are two iconic dinosaurs that a lot of people know. We've got a Tyrannosaur and a Triceratops, and they were found together, which makes them very unique, but also they were found articulated, which means just how those bones were in the body, that's how these two animals were found. And it's two parts. You have the first part that is explaining about the world of the Dueling Dinosaurs themselves, and then on the other side of the exhibit, you get a whole area of how paleontologists do paleontology. I'm not and then they're going to see a lot of active research, not just by the scientists at the museum, but also grad students and undergrads to seeing the next generation of paleontologists doing the work in front of them, and they'll also be taking questions. But I think what draws me to paleontology is what draws a lot of people to it. There are these amazing animals that it's hard to believe that they were here, but they were, and we have so many questions yet to answer about them, and the idea that we don't know everything, we're constantly learning new things, really a I love that about this kind of science. We hope that when people come to the Dueling Dinosaurs that they have a great time, but also that they see that they can be scientists too, that science is accessible, that people can ask good scientific questions to scientists, we're just people too, and that they just have a good time and they get something out of the exhibit that maybe they weren't expecting. Mm. Like a little trip back in time yeah. right there. And on the opening day on Saturday only, you don't need a ticket to get in. After that, you will have to get one. Yeah, the exhibit is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday here in downtown Raleigh. Those animations are really cool. I know. It'll be fun for the kids.